I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. Welcome to this month's episode of Clearly. Today I have the opportunity to speak with world famous celebrity makeup artist Roosevelt Cartwright. He's best known for his Emmy nominated work for over 20 years for the Queen Television Oprah Winfrey. He has created looks from the stars from Broadway to Hollywood, but he calls Douglas County home. It is my great honor to introduce my special guest, Mr. Roosevelt Cartwright. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. I'm mm -hmm. glad to be here. Mr. Cartwright, I am just so excited that you're here with me. I'm from a family of beauty queens, uh, per se. Uh, my mother is a cosmetologist, has been one for 50 years, all 50 years, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I am just makeup and hair and all that is just a natural thing for me. Mm -hmm. My daughter uh, was a professional theater major at North Carolina A&T, and she is, uh, now she kind of, She's a makeup artist on the side for some folks, but you know mm -hmm. that's part of that uh, uh, professional theater and all that. That makeup piece is just uh, one that comes with the territory. Yes. Uh, but I want to ask you, how, how did you get involved with? Um, uh, how did you become a makeup artist? You know, one day I was <clears throat> actually I'm an artist. Okay. I and, you know, paint and start off painting, and um, then I start off carving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, so I wasn't getting paid no money. <laughs> <laughs> so one day I, I stepped, I went to the mall, then I saw this young man doing makeup. So I just sit there and watch. And you did, wow! I said, I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> so I, I, I watched him for two or three weeks. Then I went out. <laughs> excuse me. When I bought some magazine, I looked at it. I looked at him. I know I was interested. I had a good job, but I wasn't interested in that. Right. I got interested in more in cosme cosmetic. Then when, and he showed me a little things and showed me this here. So one day he said his rep is coming into town. She wanted me to meet him. Uh huh. That was Johnson Publishing Company. Wow, Johnson Publishing Company. Yeah. John Publishing Johnson. Company. Yeah, J and J. Then he said the rep the, and the rep came in. I interviewed for a rep. He, he told me to tell her, you do makeup. So. And she came in and she got an application. I got hired. Wow. So and she so sent me to Miami. I was scared. You were afraid? Oh, yes. Yeah. Because I, I didn't realize we were going to be that fast. So um, when I got to Miami, I had this long, back in the day, makeup bars was a big deal. You walk into the department store, mm -hmm. you are the king. You know, you, you don't make them. You got lines of people waiting on you. Right. Oh, I was afraid. <laughs> so once I started doing my first yeah. person, and uh -huh. they love it, I did my second, the whole day went great. So I said, oh boy, it was a big relief off of me. And the next day, I got more comfortable, and in, in a week, I got more comfortable, and I kept on going. So how long you been um, a makeup artist? Oh, how long have you been in the field? Oh, 40 years. 40 years, wow, I mm -hmm. bet you have the opportunity, the opportunity to make up so many Faces. Yes, ma'am. And also, not only uh, you know on the, on the set, uh, females and males mm -hmm. sometimes yes. wear makeup because you have mm -hmm. to have a certain look. Yes. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how did you meet Oprah Winfrey? Your well, experience. Well, I, I worked for Johnson Publishing Company. Then I got transferred to Chicago. Oh, wow. And to work for Carson Pierce Scott, mm -hmm. and that was downtown State Street. And so I was working there. I saw this lady come in one day, and I was at. I'd like to do your makeup because it was in the morning time. I didn't know who she was. Yeah, you I didn't. wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> so, and I did a makeup. Then she left. She liked it, but I know she was working for AM Chicago, which I didn't know. Uh -huh. So she came back the next day, and the next day, and we can be friends. Then she asked me, but I do her makeup at AM Chicago. 
I said, well. Did you know whose makeup mm -mm. you were doing? You had, you didn't have well, I do her makeup. Yeah, now, I know, but I'm just saying that you know she was Oprah, that she, uh -uh. I guess, oh, you didn't? Mm -hmm. Wow. I know who she was. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you, when you work, meet people, you just be nice to people. And I yes. didn't know who she was. I like that. And I'm just wanting to help her. Uh -huh. And then, then she came in, kept on coming in. Then one day, she said, she asked me to do her makeup in the morning time. Then I could walk to work. Because Carson Pierce Scott is on State Street. Channel 7 was on State Street. Right. It was AM Chicago. So I, I go there to AM Chicago, make her up. You know, on a half an hour show. Mm -hmm. Then I walked over back to Johnson Publishing Company uh, at Carson Pierce Scott, a department store. Right. That's how I started. That's right. how I met Oprah. And then we came to be best of friends. Then I left Carson, went to open up Neiman Marcus on, on Michigan Avenue. Right. In then Chicago. She, Love mm, it. And she came over there. I mean, then um, after that, months later, about a year or two later, she went syndicated. Yes. So I had right. to leave Johnson Publishing Company and stick with her. Right. I've been with her I've been ever since. Ever since then. Wow. So you've had the opportunity to um, be a makeup artist for Gail, her mm -hmm. best Gail friend, King. and Gail King, mm -hmm. and then also some other. Could you kind of talk about some of those celebrities? That, that just give us a list, just a quick oh, list I'm, of just I'm celebrities made, that you've I'm had the opportunity to put their makeup on. I know. Oh, I'm mean, Jack K. Yeah. Monique. Jackie. Okay. Uh, oh, lots of people I mean, in, in the industry for 40 I years. I think you said Janet Jackson. Jan well, I never did Janet Jackson, okay. but I have been in her present. But okay. she had her own makeup artist. Oh, she had her own artist. I did time. a movie. I mean, I went over doing a movie oh. with, with Janet Jackson and, and Tupac. Yeah. What about Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, what about Because Whoopi? Color uh -huh. Purple, yeah, I believe color you purple. were. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that experience. I know, I understand you were very very uh, prominent in that movie with regard to makeup and mm -hmm. you were well, behind the color scenes. But Color Purple, um, um, Quincy Jones saw Oprah and, 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 and got Oprah and, and asked Oprah if she play in Color Purple. And yes. she was very graceful. Mm -hmm. So I just went along with her. You said you went along? I been, went along ever since. Ever, been, with Oprah, I've been traveling all over the world. Wow. Talk about some of those places you've been, if you could. Just give oh, me I've an idea. Out. Yeah. Overseas, South Africa, opened the school wow. up, stayed at Mandela House for a week. Wow. And oh, there's a lot of experience I had with them. Mandela. That lady had taught me more than I had learned in school. Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. I remember, remember the time she said, Roosevelt, just like uh, when I read, you read. Mm -hmm. Because she's a good reader. Mm -hmm. And she said, just sit and watch the cue card, and you just read when I read. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And I learned. She said, stick with me, just quiet and, and learn. But in them days, we would go to the TV set, we would not see us. Wow. I'd be the only one there, me and Oprah. So you know what? She kept on going. She's a very nice, kind person. And that's, she's, she is a, a blessing to me. You know what, I, I, let's talk about a few things. I have one other question regarding Oprah, then I'm going to give it right. to some other things. Uh, d between sets, you have to touch a makeup up? At, yes. You, yeah, between the sets, I like Be that. Between the sets, we had to touch up. Makeup. Then, and then, uh, and during, during commercials, we, 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 we come out and, and touch up and stuff like that. But when you touch the makeup, it's just easy. Yeah. But you know, you got to be comfortable with what you're doing. Yes. And you, you got to be comfortable with the person who you're working with. Wow. You got to be very natural with that person because if you don't, that person will, will feel you mm -hmm. and be uncomfortable with you. And she's a beautiful, beautiful person. Uh, very, you said she's very down she's to earth. Very kind, down to earth sweet. and kind. Yeah. Help a lot of people. Yes. Not only her own race, all races. All races, yes. Mm -hmm. That's so important. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about your signature you have a makeup line you know i have a makeup line that just came out about uh, a couple about eight months ago mm -hmm. and I on, right now only dealing with the eyeshadow the eyeshadow and then once my eyeshadow get going then i have another the whole line coming out okay 
So Same from foundation all the way? Yes, ma'am. Oh, mm -hmm. my. The foundation and eyeliner and everything. Now, mm -hmm. that is amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the experience. Are you, you have to work with a company or tell us? I have a company uh, out of uh, uh, um, Australia. Okay. And me and this lady named Peggy. Peggy. We work together. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's uh, her friend owned the company, so that's how I get that. Uh, well, it's a very one. nice mm -hmm. line, and uh, certainly when you Google your name, uh, yes, it, it pops up, and mm -hmm. uh, and I, mm -hmm. I look forward to wearing mine. I, you provided yes. me with a sample, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I don't even call it a sample. I, you have a palette, a, a palette. palette that it's you provided palette. me with, mm -hmm. and I look forward because I love uh, makeup. Not over, not over the top, no, but I, I like it. I, I like it uh, because it enhances the beauty. Now, back in the day, mm -hmm. I would have never thought I was going to be in makeup. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm in the makeup department more than a woman. <laughs> and people always say, what is he doing? It? Because you're Back in the day. And, and you can look at um, skin tone, a mm -hmm. color, or uh, yes. undertones before undertones. a woman comes before mm -hmm. you. Like I think, you know, when I first met you, I said, Mr. Carwright, I have red undertones. You said, I already know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said, by looking at your by skin. By looking at, it, at the at skin, the skin tone, tone. You, sometimes you have a yellow undertone. Yes. You have a red undertone, on the undertone because you're just blending with your skin, mm -hmm. your skin mm -hmm. plexure. Tell and, me uh, this. If, if a woman is, has red undertone and she decides to use makeup with yellow undertone, talk about the contrast or the effect that it has. If, can you tell that the makeup it's off, you know, when you're blending, I'm quite sure. Some, some skin have acid to them, and they will turn the foundation a different color. Oh, you that's have, good. You okay. have, to have to know your, 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 your skin type, mm -hmm. and then, and sometimes you, you have to blend it, so make, make sure it, it don't turn. If that particular foundation would turn your skin another color, you have acid in your skin, but you have to use another foundation, mm -hmm. a non uh, fragrant, fragrant product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am so intrigued with your life story. You oh, were born a, in Mississippi. I was born the in Mississippi. The that my mother was born, and uh, the woman that I just talked about, that 50-year cosmetologist, and uh, tell me a little bit about your childhood hood, hood experience as you grew up. Talk to me about that a little bit. My, my, we, pl I'm, I'm from a, I'm from a, my mother and father had 17 kids. Wow. Uh, okay. uh, 13 boys and four girls. Okay. 13 boys and four mm -hmm. girls. And, uh, and we were born on the sharecropper in Mississippi, picking cotton. Mm hmm Yes. And my mother and father was a great, great parents. Mm-hmm. And my dad was in the service, and once he got out of, got out of the service, he's, and he came work on, on the farm with yes. us. Okay. And uh, we had boys. We, uh, the most important thing we have ten boys, mm -hmm. and and we work, and we work, and we work. And then we, if you don't go to school, you pick cotton. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, we work. And we, my mother had a garden, so we we share, we ate from the garden. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, my mom would go out and buy certain meats, and. Uh, certain peas and stuff, but we had all that stuff. And then she jarred stuff for, for the winter. Yes. And so we, we, we had, actually we have a, living on a plantation back in the woods or somewhere, we, we had a family then. Yes. I mean, the family was stuck together. Mm -hmm. Because back then, them, them days, it was very harsh getting out, you know, mm -hmm. but. But it was a close-knit family. Yes, but you if you grew up back in them days, mm -hmm. That's what you have to do. That's right. You know, you can't change. You know, you, you go out downtown, you got to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Because there's a certain race of people you have to be very careful with. Right. I, rem I remember when my dad one day he told me, remember C and W. Mm -hmm. C is for colored people. Mm -hmm. W for white people. And mm -hmm. we had to drink out of the fountain. Right. But I always want to drink that water from the <laughs> other, just see how it tastes. But that came from the same hose. Mm -hmm. I thought it was better than the one we were drinking. Right. But we didn't know. Let me ask you this. You've had 
the opportunity to live all over the world. Mm -hmm. Why Douglas County? You moved to oh. Douglasville. Tell me what was so appealing uh, about Douglasville. I didn't know anything about Douglasville. <laughs> you did not. And I got lost. See, I, I was uh, looking for a home in, 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 in Georgia. I was staying at the airport. Me and my wife were staying at the airport, and we rent a car and just go out looking for a home. Mm -hmm. So we got lost on uh, 166. <laughs> and we, we kept on driving. Cause we just had, kept uh, driving. We had fun. Uh -huh. I, we love the woods. Mm -hmm. And we saw a sign to I-20. Yes. And so we were going, going to go to I-20. And so we just stopped and we said, we in, well, this is Douglasville. So we saw a place and we stopped there and we love it. I got the Douglasville. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. I love Douglasville. Douglasville's got good schooling, mm -hmm. nice people, and it's quiet. Peaceful. Peaceful. And I love Douglasville. It's a wonderful place to There's a lot child. of places I, I could have stayed. Mm -hmm. And then people, people ask me, why Douglasville? I said, I love Douglasville. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It's, it's very close to the airport. Very close. It's close downtown. Mm -hmm. Still being downtown, you're out. And I, I, I love it. And just enough away from the hustle and bustle, and bustle. of downtown. Mm -hmm. And when exactly. you want to have a little, I call it rejuvenation, if you want to get worked up, you go downtown. You go but downtown. If you want to mm -hmm. Bring it or scale it back and relax. And relax. Douglasville. And, and you're, Douglas you're comfortable. Yes. People are very nice here. Wow. I like the county. I, I, I love Douglasville. You, you, your very best friend, uh, Mr. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Can you tell me just a little bit about him? I'm so excited about him. I the met Danny Glover. I met Danny Glover doing Color Purple. Wow. That was the 1800s. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> me and Danny Glover came to be a good friend. Then we worked on Beloved together. And Danny, I've been knowing Danny Glover over now for 30 some years. Wow, 30 mm, something years. Might be longer than that. Yes. When was Color Purple? I, can't, I, I don't remember what year, but I love the movie. What year was that movie produced? It was 80. Oh, you got me now. Yeah, well, then we'll look at our research. Yeah, we look at Okay, mm -hmm. but it was in the 80s. Yes. So mm -hmm. the 30 is about right because my daughter was born in 84. Mm -hmm. So she'll be 34 on her birthday. So mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. So that's about right. It was in the 80 or late 80s. Yes, mm -hmm. it seems just like yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful movie. Okay, and so you met Danny. Oh, ben, Dan, Danny was a, he was a very nice, kind Danny is Danny. <laughs> Danny is a, a type of guy. He's a father. Yes, yes. And he's a good guy, mm -hmm. you know. If you meet Danny on the street, you would never have thought that he was a movie star. Danny don't care himself like a movie star. Danny care about people. He's genuine. He's very genuine. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. The other day I called Danny. He said, Mr. Rosa, what you doing? And I, I just talked to him just like an ordinary person. And I think that's what make, and that's my opinion, uh, ordinary people so extraordinary when they're humble, uh, when they That's don't allow the same thing about in this movie industry. I see a lot of people, mm -hmm. and, and I see a lot of people that who's not not humble. Wow, mm -hmm. and I, I see can a lot imagine. of people that who are very humble. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people that who that who have they get to be a movie star. Yes, but being a movie star sometimes it go to your head. <laughs> I can imagine, and sometimes it, it'll destroy you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you live by being a movie star or in the public, but once you get home and that door closes on you, you're by yourself. Right. And, but you don't know what the problem with it have. Yeah, I can imagine. And then that's why I have to Robert Williams and all them. You know, it's just a how they they movie stars is it just you have to be who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Tell me um, where the citizens can find your products. Um, it's on it's Roosevelt Cartwright. For, for your makeup line, I want to make yeah. sure that that's. It's Roosevelt Cartwright mm -hmm. dot com. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can yes, go, go online. Can they, can they place an order? Or? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You place an order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What 
advice would you give another makeup artist who's aspiring to be as great as you? Uh, what, what advice would you give them uh, in terms it's of moving their career along? Going back, when I came to be a makeup artist, mm -hmm. there, was a, there was no, I mean, there was a lot of makeup artists. There are a lot of makeup artists. How much young makeup artists are better than me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that's, yeah. There's, there's so you a lot pass, of, passing the baton, right? Yes, there's a lot of them out there are very good. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I look on YouTube. Wow. I just watch them. I yeah. say, they are great. Mm -hmm. But there's a, if a makeup artist, you have to, just like you're a hairdresser, you, you've got to love your job. You have to love it. Yes. You've got to love your job. And being mean, I, was, I had all, all type of jobs. Uh. I hate them. You hate them. Come to be a makeup artist. You love it. <laughs> my You're mother, and my parents, and my brothers say, "What the heck?" But it's a passion. It's a passion. You for know, me. Um, it's a creative. It's a calling for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. because when you there, you I've watched artists. I can't draw a stick doll mm -hmm. or anything. <laughs> I don't have that talent. Mm -hmm. But I, I've watched artists, and you all just go into yourself. You right. find yourself, and you can just take mm -hmm. something, and I, I say you take nothing and make it something. Right. Um, you can transform. Uh, people come in, you go, well, I can take you and make you beautiful. Well, I just, my being a makeup artist, to me, mm -hmm. I rather go by what you want first. Yes. And that was my next uh, question for you. What tips would uh, you I wanted, give women? If you ask me, I just want to sit you in a seat and say, how do you want to look? It's not how I want you to look. You, that's your question. That's what you use mm -hmm. the lead with. I, okay. I want, I want to do you how you want to look, but that I could change certain things. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. me ask you this: when you, when you, for example, you make a woman's face up, and you she come in, and you, you know, do you find the things that are uh, number one? Someone say your eyes, for example, be mm -hmm. there. So your eyes are your center point. So do you work the eyes? What do you do to define that? So well, everybody have a certain things that other people want. Yes. Okay. I mean, some people have. A, 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 Different type of eyes, or yeah. different type of lips, or but you have to work with what you have. Yes. Then you 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 enhancing that person, what they did not know they have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of beauty is uh, with inside. With inside yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. um, it's in the eye of the beholder, a, and that, we talk about yes, that. And I, I I I appreciate what you do, and you being a makeup makeup artist, um, and I believe. With you being in your position, you give women self-esteem, so, uh, confidence. Well, when you're a makeup artist, you're, you're sort of like a counselor. Yes. And by, in my hands, and when I touch a person, I can feel the energy in that Yeah, person. you talked about that. You said that, that energy, mm -hmm. you can tell. I can feel, feel the certain energy in that person. So do you have dialogue with them? No, I, first of all, I, let, I relax them first. Right. I don't want to get make them nervous. Make them nervous. Uh -huh. And so um, I just talked to him, and then, and lo and behold, I'm, I'm finished. Now you know you have some people are finicky. You do their whole makeup and then mm -hmm. they finish with you and say, "I don't like this." Okay. So what? How do you respond when they? You know, some people you just can't please them, and you, you, can't. Went, oh, you I, put I the have, makeup on. You take your. I have, you spend an hour on their face, mm -hmm. and then when they get up and go, "I don't like this." So. Mm -hmm. How do you respond and how do you? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Okay. I mean, well, in a way, it's not a bad way. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I, I tell you, some people you can't please. Right. You yeah. can't please in any way. So you just leave them alone? Yeah. And then uh, you haven't had anybody ever wash the makeup off, have they? Oh, no. Good. You say you wear it till you get home, then you can take it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to come down, the step down, just to, you know, I'm going to come on the personal level a little bit. Tell me about your, your family, your, and you have a daughter, mm -hmm. I believe, in the school system yes, here. Yes, ma'am. Several I daughters, have, right? I have uh, a daughter in the Douglas Hill County. Uh, Douglas County High School, yeah. Douglas County High School. She's okay. in that, what, what is that? IB program. IB program. Yes. Mm -hmm. and I have uh, another daughter. She goes to the school, um, we know, Chapel Hill. Is it Chapel Hill Mi Middle School? Middle School. Okay, yes. okay. And that's Hannah. Hannah go to Douglasville, and Jane go to Middle School. Yeah, Hannah and Jane. Mm -hmm. I like those. Oh, right. she, they're beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. Wonderful. Wow. You know, God done blessed me with two beautiful kids. Wow. Beautiful kids. 
-hmm. and I know they'll make you proud. I believe Hannah, yes. is she a performer? Yes, she's a performer. She's a singer. Mm -hmm. Wow, where did she get that beautiful voice from? Not from me. Uh, so <laughs> evidently from mom. No, I don't think so. It's just natural. It's just you natural. know, sometimes you have mm -hmm. kids that are born that can play she the born. piano, and you saying, well, she, they were just she born. She born that way. Oh, and she wow. born in Charlotte. She said, God gave it to me. See? And God gives mm -hmm. us special gifts, and, you know, we man. You recognize we, it. Yep. And ex celebrate it. And celebrate it. Mm -hmm. And then cherish it, and then and also mm -hmm. share it. And you share it. Mm -hmm. You share your voice. Yeah, I know we, we talked about Douglas County, and I'm going to pivot back to that, mm -hmm. and then I'm, I'm not going to hold you so much oh, this morning. I know you have some folks waiting on you, Man, too. nobody waiting on me but myself. <laughs> but but your oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Douglas County, um, when you, um, are there any particular stores that you, that you shop here or? Mm -hmm. uh, that I go you, to the mall. To the mall. Do you? Yeah, my, my kids got to take my kids to the mall. Mm -hmm. Don't want to, but I, I, I have to. Yeah, you know they like to. They love to shop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love that. Shopping I love locally. The, I, mean, I don't have. If I want to go to Lennox Mall, but I just. You get prefer in the here? Yeah. Sometimes you. Yeah, yeah, I want to take the girls there. Mm -hmm. I really go right to the mall and go home. Arbor Place, not too Arbor far. Arbor Place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's Our a very nice, nice mall. mall. It really is. Mm -hmm. it, very, it really is. So mm -hmm. thank you for shopping local. Mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, I love shopping here. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. You get better deal here. Yeah, you said your <laughs> deals are better. <laughs> well, I just wanted to just thank you for coming in this morning. Anytime. And, time. and Any I time. am so excited about what you're doing. And I'm uh, honored. I believe uh, you kind of touched upon a book, your, your, oh, a book have, that's coming about your life. Yes, ma'am. Tell me a little bit about the book before we wrap it up. I, I, have, uh, a, I have a book coming out. It's about, is it your life story? It's my life story. Oh, wow. It's going to call A Picture on the Wall. A Picture on the Wall. Mm. Well, ask me why did I And I want to say why that, yeah, why that title? Because everybody got a picture on the wall of somebody. Mm-hmm, you're right. Mm -hmm. Everybody have a picture on the wall of their grandfather, or the ancestor is a picture on the wall. Wow. And that picture on the wall can't speak. Right. I want to write my book so when you see my picture on the wall, I could speak to you. It's already, so you're speaking for the picture before it's on the wall. Yes, ma'am. I like that. And one day we're going to be on the wall. That's right, on the wall. And our grandkids would say, that's Uncle Roosevelt. Mm hmm. That's, that's Daddy Roosevelt. And then you, you want to write your story I'm before write somebody my else. Story. I like that. You said before, you want to define yourself. Define who I am and tell my story. Before you know, somebody I mean, else. I came from a plantation. Mm -hmm. And I never thought I was going to live in a home. And I, I just wish my mother and father were living. To see what God has done. Mm -hmm. But they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. My dad is looking down on me now. But so I always believe that they're here looking. Oh, they're here. They're looking. Mm -hmm. They guide me. Yes. They guide me to peaceness, peaceness in the world well, and I, happiness in the world. I want to thank you for mm -hmm. what you do, and thank I look you. forward to maybe some events I'll tap into. Yes, ma'am. Anytime. anytime you're ready. I said, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cartwright, I really need my makeup. Uh, anytime. For, because I have. I'm right down the street. Okay, and I'll say I would love to uh, see what. You could do to transform me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I look forward I to sure it. Have, and, anytime um, you you ask me. And uh, I'm I'm one of those ones that's almost allergic to everything. So you oh, I, will I, prepare. I, Hypo. I, I'll, I'll be. You say mm -hmm. you'll be prepared. I'll be prepared for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, to, to thank you for coming in today. Well, thank you for and having me. Time out of your busy mm -hmm. schedule. I and, very appreciate um, it. Like I say, you've touched so many lives in the mm -hmm. makeup industry. Yes. And I felt that this was a great time to. Uh, honor you. Yes, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate Douglasville, that. And Douglasville and Douglas County is just is my so home. lucky to have such talent mm -hmm. uh, and Douglas such county, prestige in our county. I love Douglas County. And um, this is this is you don't know this means a lot to me. My last show I had a couple of shows a while back. I dedicated that show to my dad, mm -hmm. and this show today is dedicated to my mother. Oh, great! Because uh, she is a woman that you know. You said it's it's, it's all about the art, it's all and you all. I want to honor you because you spend so much time enhancing others' beauty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't have time for yourself mm -hmm. because you're making everybody else beautiful. Well, so, you know what? It's just not only making a person beautiful. And make that person feel good on it, the inside. On the inside, 
yes. who, knowing who they how. Oh my God, I knew how I could look like this. <laughs> Absolutely. And then, and then, and then they, once they feel that it's in their soul, they feel good about themselves. Yes. And then they, they go out and be more happier because they, everybody look at other people. Say, I wish I could look like that, but you can. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Carwright, I thank you so much for thank coming you. in today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, too. And thank you for making us all beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This has been another episode of Clearly. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.